dividing measurements. And it's important to know your conversions of units or to have a chart to help us. You probably have one in the back of your book or you can find one online. All right. When we do long division of numbers, we ask ourselves how many times can the divisor fit into the dividend? The 3 is the divisor, the 14 is the dividend. So 3 can fit into 14 four times. 3 times 4 is 12. We do our subtraction and get a 2. So we have 4 remainder 2. But when we use long division to, to divide measurements, we'll need to regroup the units to continue dividing. So if we have 9 yards and 1 foot divided by 4, we ask ourselves, how many times can 4 fit into 9? 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8. We do our subtraction and get 1. That's 1 yard. If we're going to drop down the feet now, we need to convert that yard into feet. Well, there's 3 feet and 1 yard. Now we can add the 1 foot to it, so we have a total of 4 feet. See how we did that? We converted the yard to feet, then we added that foot to it. 4 goes into 4 feet one time. 4 times 1 is 4. We do our subtraction and get a 0. 9 yards and 1 foot divided by 4 is 2 yards and 1 foot. All right? Let's try this one. It's a little bit longer. We have 7 days, 16 hours, and 3 minutes, and we're dividing it by 3. 3 can go into 7 2 times. 3 times 2 is 6. We do our subtraction and get 1 day. Now to drop the hours down, we need to convert that day into hours. There's 24 hours in a day. 24 plus 16 is 40. So now we ask ourselves, how many times can 3 fit into 40? Well, 3 times 13 is 39. So we put our 13 up there. You could even go slower and say 3 goes into the 4 one time. And that leaves 1 left over. So that would be a 10 because of that 0. And then we would say 3 goes into 10 3 times. But 3 times 13 is 39, so I did it a little quicker. 40 minus 39 is one hour left over. We need to convert that to minutes to drop the minutes down. So that's 60 minutes in one hour. Now we add the three minutes to it, and we have 63 minutes. How many times can three go into 63? 21 times. That's 21 minutes, and we have a zero remainder. All right? Let's look at this as a word problem. Bob has 30 weeks and 6 days to build 12 handcrafted bookshelves. So he got an order from somebody, maybe he's a carpenter, and he makes beautiful bookshelves with beautiful artwork on them. And he's got 30 weeks and 6 days to make 12 of them. So how much time can he spend on building each bookshelf? Well, we need to divide 30 weeks and 6 days by 12. We need to see how many times it, the 12 will fit into that. So 12 goes into 30 2 times. 12 times 2 is 24. That's going to leave six weeks. But we need to drop the days down, so we need to convert the six weeks into days. There's seven days in a week, so six times seven is 42 days. Six weeks is equal to 42 days. Now when we drop down the six days and add them together, we get 48 days. 12 goes into 48 four times. 12 times four is 48. We get a zero remainder. So we know he's got two weeks and four days for each bookshelf. So just remember, as you're putting this divisor into the dividend and subtracting, after you multiply and you subtract and you get that amount, you have to convert this amount to that smaller amount and then add them, all right? That's the biggest thing to remember from this, all right? It's dividing measurements. Convert them to the smaller unit and then drop the other one down and add it together and then ask how many times it fits in, all right? I hope you're doing well. I'm proud of you. I think you can do this. Keep trying. Bye.